I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. And here we are entering the tomb of... Actually, where are we? The Temple of Mirak, who, if I remember the lore correctly, is a previous Dragonborn. Might be the first Dragonborn. So... get myself some bodyguards because I saw some foes up there. Oh, did I already have? Interesting. Okay, so here are my two Dramora Lords. And now we're gonna... Ooh, and I can get some moss. Lots of moss. Yes! So much moss! And why, hello there. Oops, oh goodness. Okay, and bound sword in the right hand, and let's get a shield for my left hand. But we do want to be wary of these rocks. Okay. I wonder if I'm hidden enough to sneak up on this guy. Maybe I am. Except he'll just maybe be pretty much dead by the time I reach him. Okay. Oh, is this... No, not quite. Oh, and I actually have taken a substantial amount of damage. That, that's definitely one of the uh, downsides of uh, one of the downsides of playing without uh, without sound. You you lose out on all the uh, normal hints that you would get. Okay, that's one more dead. Nice spinny, dancey stuff. Okay. Cool. And more ebony stuff, which I guess is in theory nice, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get a lot of use out of it because I'm already pretty wealthy at this point in the game. Ebony armor, you don't often see that. Well, I have to say, if the game were to start tossing me some uh, some dragon scale stuff, I would not mind picking up some of that. Okay, so in fact, I, I would potentially swap. S well, yeah, that's that's a part in the game where. My desire to be themed goes a little bit against my desire to... Black book. Is this... Yeah, this is going to pull me into... Uh, into Apocrypha. So you get words that loop around your neck and that turns into a tentacle thing. Which is creepy, but cool. And I guess that's probably roughly the, what they were going for when they were... Um, theming. Oh. And Mirak just zapped me. And he has a dragon. And those creepy uh, illithid things. He has a nice tower. And I can't turn left or right, I can just look up or down, but up is cool. Uh, down is, well, neat pattern. Huh. Oh, is that why nobody quite remembers him? Has he erased himself from their memories?
Apparently these guys are going to hit me with their wrists. And... Mirak is going to fly off on this dragon. Hmm. Anyhow, come on. Yeah, 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 come on. Uh, again, I'm pressing forward now, and you can see the smoke move forward. Pressing back now, you can see it move back. So yeah, you, you can modify the smoky, your view of the smoky stuff, but it's not nearly as apparent as it is with... Um, I would have assumed that my body would have disappeared entirely. Okay, so I got to this temple of Mirak. And which way is she taking us? Okay, this is the way that I've already been. This is a new direction. So this is probably just one of those uh, passages that will quickly take you out of... Um, take you out of your current dungeon. So, okay, so out we go. I wonder if I could have read it while in uh, wolf form. Probably not. You can't really do a lot of object interactions while as a wolf. Same thing with the Vampire Lord. One of the things that I have learned while doing this playthrough is that you really want to master the forward moving power attacks because you can instantly toss anything Will this stop? Okay, so that rotates it and it eventually stops. And why? So she has a quest marker on her head. Okay, so I guess probably my current quest just has me yeah, accompanying her to Skull Village, which is probably green light? What green light? No, I don't see a green light. Well. Oh, there's the green light. Do I have? Yeah, I, that, I do have that as uh, marked on my map. Oh, um, I hope it won't be awkward that I just killed a bunch of the people with the help of some gremlins. because I'm realizing that that could be kind of awkward. Not sure, not sure where those bodies are. Okay. Well, why did you just run around the... You've chosen the dumbest path possible around that well. So these guys are doing this kind of thing, and I guess it's supposed to be a barrier protecting the village, although not from the little gremlin-y dudes that I helped. Okay. 
Okay. I'm trying. Well, I guess I'm waiting for the... Uh, Okay. Oh, use the bend will shout. Do I have the bend will shout? I might have already gotten that. Yes. Ooh, and I have a lot of dragon tools. This one is always useful to have. Um, wow. I don't know if I'm interested in Cyclone, but then again, I'll be fighting a lot of dragons, so it's not like I need to be stingy with these. Okay, so on the Windstone, and the Windstone is over here. So off we go. Oh. Huh. And the shout is for bend will. Well, that's doable. Oh. The feeling that that may have. Whoa. Oh, it's. Gave one of these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, these guys are not too fun. I would like to summon more. And. Okay. Okay, and that is a dead lurker. Cool. So I was able to wipe those guys out. Edla, are you still gonna talk crazy? Guess you are. That I have forgotten. I think I'm missing out on some dialogue here, but that was pretty easy. Okay, so... And, uh, Shaman's Hut. I guess I want to be in here to I'd let him know that I modified the windstone. Well, I guess I, I blew up whatever they were building. Hmm. Okay, that's their local religion. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so 
I guess I have the task of cleaning those stones with that shout. Oh, and it looks like there are people in the village again. Oh, are these these might have been the the people who were stuck. stuck working at that shrine thing. And if you're the smith, then I can sell you. Oh, no, you're, well, maybe you are the smith, but you don't seem to have a buying and selling option. Um, okay, well, that's fine. Are you the smith? Ah, you're the smith. Okay. Well, first, let's see what you have to Okay, so you do have the ancient Nordic pickaxes. And, man, those things look pretty amazing. Finally, a piece of light armor that really looks pretty cool. I wonder what it takes to improve Stalin. Might as well unload. Uh, if I had a companion, it, it would make a lot of sense to to start equipping them with this stuff. But as I don't. Um, yeah, anyhow. Okay, so there's sunstone, beast stone. I guess I have the beast stone marked, so it should be pretty quick to uh, go and free the people from that. I am glad that the game decided to mark all these on my map now. It should make it a lot quicker to make my way over to them and uh, clean them up. Yeah, I, I definitely appreciate the facial mar uh, markings. I'm not actually much for tattoos in real life, but I think it would be interesting to have decorative um, tattoos that aren't like words or detailed um, detailed images. Did that actually work? I guess it did. But I should get myself some Dramora. Probably should have... It would have been a lot smarter to have done that initially rather than, uh, rather than waiting. Just dead. That's fine. And I guess all the little reeklings ran off. Okay, next. Earthstone. Uh, Earthstone is a little bit west of the starting area, and the Waterstone is, oh, way up north. So the Sunstone, I guess I have a quick travel point that's not too far from the Sunstone. Uh, but I need to head to talk to Neoloth anyhow as part of that later thing. So I guess 
I'll do the sunstone last. I'll uh, pop over to here and cleanse the earthstone uh, now. And maybe I can sell some of the other stuff that's weighing me down. So I'm probably not going to do all of the quests on, on Solstheim with this character because I'm not planning to do like another full length set of let's plays with this. I just want to make my way through the main quest line. And uh, But after I'm done here, then I'm going to head back to Skyrim and finish up the Assassin's, uh, the Assassin's quest line. So, straight up ahead is I think this is the guy who wants to buy those pennants. At least I'm making reasonable progress on distributing this stuff. And let's see what I can tell you. I uh, don't need an ebony war axe, and that thing is really heavy. Sell off that thing. Um, Okay, well, that'll do. For that, I just want to be looking inside the here, which I think, is this it? No. There it is. I can let him know that I've passed up samples of this drink. It's one of those few quests in Skyrim where you are embarrassingly, uh, embarrassingly helping somebody with marketing something. he did was give me some gold. Oh well. Move, 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 move. Guys, move. Okay, so I want to head southwest. Huh, I guess it really is out over the water. I wonder if this one has hypnotized people working at it too. It seems that being this close to a uh, to a big settlement, that would be kind of unlikely. But no, apparently not. Well, 
let's clean it up. And I'll step back. And oh, why did I again forget to get a Dramora Lord? And he is almost dead. No, he is dead. Oh, did it summon two? Well, that's new. And it's still... Oops, did I hit him? Interesting. So that is the end of this shrine. Okay, so that's one more shrine down, and uh, the water stone is a good ways north of here. Probably the fastest way will be to fast travel back here, and then run up along the co at the coast, which will be neat because I haven't seen the coast here before. Do not like those lurker guys. I wonder if the foes here have. I guess not. That's good. And apparently these boar things, they uh, they do exist wild. Hey, howdy. Oh, and I guess they actually are hostile when wild, which is good to know. They really do not seem to want to... Oops, okay. Forgot, I thought I still had uh, unrelenting force equipped. I wonder if the wolf will fight the boar. There are more boats that seem to have been abandoned out there. I think I might be being hit from, uh, from behind. Yeah. Okay, that is the end of that guy. And whoa, what is going on? And this time I'll remember to get some Dramora to face these guys. Not sure why a boar would carry gold around, but oh well. Okay, we 
have our Dramora, and I'll have my Bound Sword ready. And here we go. Should clean it out. Unfortunately, I think there's a dragon nearby. Yeah, and where is it? It is over there. You, you schmuck, don't, what are you doing here? Oh, great, so he's stealing the soul. That's irritating. I guess there's one more stone to clean, and it is on the way to that mushroom thing and then to Neoloth, who I guess is somebody who has another, um, another one of these books that will take you to um, Apocrypha. So we're heading southeast. So it is kind of funny, you, ever since installing Hearthfire, you, uh, you begin to see, um, okay, east, oh, well there's another, uh, another Dwemer rune, so I'd like to have that on my map before I, uh, what is that? Oh, interesting. So it's a Dwemer ruin with a giant um, bridge heading out there. That is pretty cool. Okay, but I'm not going to go in right now. Whoa. Okay, it's just a statue. So let's jog along the beach over to So I'm guessing my uh Dramor Lord is still fighting for me. Yeah, these are those weird mushroom things. 
Okay, one for more Lord. Two Dramor Lords. Let's back off. And It is another lurker gone. Are there any more? Nope. So these stone things are clean. And also, I wonder if the Reavers genuinely were bandits or if they were just pulled into the service of. Uh, of the first dragon lord. Oh, in any case, yeah, giant mushrooms. So I've seen screenshots of things like this from uh, from previous uh, Skyrim games. Okay. Okay, well that's kind of neat. Oh, and he's selling resonance gems. I think I need those for uh, for that Dwemer thing. And let's see if I can. Yeah. Cool. And where is this thing that he's talking about? Oh. Anyhow, oh, oh, wow, is this, it is, it's, huh, well, that is indeed pretty cool. Wait, why is, there's something that wants combat? Looks like there's a fight out and off in the distance, let's see what it is. Uh, wow, looks like there's quite a lot of things that are doing fights. Let's get ready to summon another Dramora Lord. Oh, it's these little spider things. lurkers but the lurkers and I suspect that unrelenting force is going to be a little bit more of a useful shout to have on my fast bar for right now huh, so nobody likes lurkers Spriggan versus Lurker versus Dramora Lord. Oh, versus Ash Zombie. This is a very busy area. Oh, let's get.
Yeah, so one thing I've definitely learned here is that these guys do a lot of damage in close combat. See if sweet. Although there's not a lot positive to say about it. Wow, so this area also provides. Uh, quite a number of magical items. So yeah, this is definitely an endgame area. It's not the kind of place that you would survive very long in earlier in the game, but it also the drops are nice enough that it would be pretty imbalancing if you could survive here earlier, unless the drops scale with level 2, which is entirely possible. And this looks like a absolutely gigantic mushroom. Okay, so hmm. So apparently, more wind is uh, arranged into houses, and this is one of the, the bigger houses. But this is the apocalypse. Okay, so this isn't actually where I want to be. Very cool uh, architecture, though. How do I get up and into where I actually want to be? Uh, there's an entrance behind the, that mushroom. That is pretty cool. Okay, so, um, Okay, so I guess we're heading to a Dwemer Ruin. And I suppose it just wouldn't do to uh, have two people use it at once. It's kind of like those warnings that you saw at amusement parks not to use uh, the park while somebody else, uh, or not to use a slide while somebody else is uh, going down it. 
Okay, what is it? Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Message from Rollis. Items, books. Message from Rollis. Where is it? Is it not a book? I don't need a ball. Huh. Well, apparently the message from Wallace wasn't a physical thing. So where are we going, dude? And maybe I should have a Dramora Lord escorting us. Just because they are handy to have around. And I can't quite manage to summon two at once. Well, maybe we're actually heading back to that um, Dwemer ruin that I just saw before. In which case, I'm glad that I uh, I went and spoke with him before I uh, started diving in. Yeah, come on. Why? Okay, these guys have really, really lousy uh, senses of direction. I have no idea why I want to run up that hill. best way to get here. But yeah, this it's a picturesque uh, ruin. Yeah, let's get on with it. Unfortunately, I'm not angled right to actually shut the guys off of here, but... Well, now I am, but... Oh, they're going to fall off on their own. Well, I guess that works for me, though.
Ah, yeah. The uh, the death special effects are really pretty awesome. So I guess I can't open this door myself, but what's his name should probably be along any moment now to take care of it, unless he's still in combat somewhere, or unless I need to walk him over myself, which is entirely plausible, if unfortunate. Wonder where he went. Did he cross the bridge? Ah, there we go. So he apparently has a lot to say about Morrowind. Okay, so let's go. Dude, you coming? Okay. I hope that he'll just follow me the rest of the way. Come on, dude. What was that? Okay, there's something nasty in the water. And I am glad that I'm not in there. And hopefully he will... Hopefully he'll be able to open the door. Very fancy. Looking stuff. Okay, so restoring steam power to this room. Yeah, that's definitely a silly thing about um, about that means of pulling a leaf or rather than going through a door because if the room is actually designed in the way that it um, that it pretends to be, then him pulling the lever should move us all down rather than just uh, just him. But oh well. Let's get ready to bring more Dramora. I'm a little bit worried about the possibility of him betraying me somehow, because he seems to have a lot of power. Wow, cool stuff.
I mean, for some reason, I'm smelling a rat. Fortunately, I have water breathing, so... Even if things go really wrong... Oh, so we need to get three more boilers? I mean, three more control cubes? Four more control cubes. Oh, because the thing upstairs needs... So most of the Dwemer were swept out of Amundis in one in one go, but apparently the Dwemer abandoned this while they were still still around. I mean, while they still existed in a meaningful sense. But we are near the one hour marker, so this seems like a good uh, good time to save, and uh, I'll see you in the next Let's Play.